What does dichotomous mean in statistics? If you're working with data and come across the term dichotomous, you might be wondering what it means and how it's used in statistics. Let's break it down in simple terms. In statistics, a dichotomous variable is a type of categorical variable that has only two possible categories or levels. Think of it like a simple yes or no question. Here are some examples to make it clearer. Gender, male or female, coin flip, heads or tails, employed or unemployed, pass or fail on an exam, alive or dead. These variables are called dichotomous because they only have two distinct options. The word dichotomous itself comes from the Greek word di, meaning two or double. How dichotomous variables work. Dichotomous variables can be further categorized into discrete and continuous types, although this distinction can be a bit nuanced. For instance, a discrete dichotomous variable is clear-cut, like dead or alive. You can't be both at the same time. A continuous dichotomous variable might seem a bit confusing, but it's more about how we interpret the categories. For example, passing or failing an exam can be seen as continuous because grades can range from 0 to 100%, and there are many possible scores in between. Importance in analysis. Dichotomous variables are very useful in statistical analysis. They help simplify complex data into two clear options, making it easier to analyze and understand the data. For example, you can use a point by serial correlation to see how a dichotomous variable relates to a continuous variable. This correlation measures the relationship between the two variables on a scale from Midas 1 to 1. Visualizing and analyzing. To visualize dichotomous variables, you can use simple bar charts to show the frequencies of each category. For instance, if you're looking at the gender distribution in a data set, a bar chart can show how many males and females there are. When analyzing these variables, you might use a one proportion z test to see if the observed proportion of one category matches a theoretical proportion. For example, you could test if the proportion of males in a population is equal to 50%. Creating dichotomous variables. Sometimes you can create a dichotomous variable from a continuous variable by setting a threshold. For example, you could turn the continuous variable average points into a dichotomous variable by classifying players with an average above 15 as high scorers and those below 15 as low scorers. In summary, dichotomous variables are essential in statistics because they simplify data into clear binary options making analysis and interpretation much easier. Whether you're dealing with gender, employment status, or exam results, understanding dichotomous variables can help you make more sense of your data.